Twelve years after its cancellation, NBC opted to revive Law & Order following the success of its spin-off series. The show returned to the network in 2022, featuring familiar faces such as District Attorney Jack McCoy and Detective Kevin Bernard, portrayed by Sam Waterston and Anthony Anderson. While Anderson opted to depart one year after the show's homecoming, Waterston exited in season 23 alongside Cameron Mannheim's Lieutenant Kate Dixon. Law & Order Season 24 premieres on Thursday, October 3rd, with new episodes airing weekly. Mechad Brooks, who is among the newer generation of characters, joined the series as Detective Jalen Shaw shortly after its return. The actor was previously known for his work on Supergirl, Necessary Roughness, and True Blood, and will reprise his role as Jax when Mortal Kombat 2 hits theaters in October 2025. Brooks expresses excitement over the new season of the police procedural, teasing tension and an unforeseen camaraderie upon the arrival of Maura Tierney's Lieutenant Jessica Brady. Mechad Brooks, let's separate those questions, if you will. What helps make it a long-term success is I think that it has its finger on the pulse of the nation and its finger on the pulse of the consciousness of the nation. Unfortunately, we have a very violent country and there's always something happening that affects people very deeply. And these crimes, getting into the who, what, when, where, why, and how is always intriguing the people, as you can see with the event of true crime being in the forefront of our consciousness. I think that, in some ways, law and order started that phenomenon. It was brought into somebody's house that you could get the aspects of the who, what, when, where, why, and how of crimes that you, ultimately, will never have so close to your person. My family dealt with a murder in our family, and just knowing that there were other people out there, knowing that there was a whole nation going through this kind of thing, was, in its own sense, healing. I think the reason why the show has lasted so long is because there's no shortage of truth in American violence, and the people that solve these crimes and the people that try these cases. Whenever we look at something and think, wow, that could happen to me, we want to know more about it. And how does it stay relevant? I think that's a separate question because what we're doing now is we're really updating the show. We're definitely keeping the connective tissue of the original DNA and the bifurcated framework, but it feels a lot more personal. We're diving and delving way more into character this year. You're getting to know who's solving the crimes, not just about the crimes. You're getting to know more about the victims. We're seeing them alive for a little longer than we've seen them in the past, so we feel more connected to them. We're learning what some of these cases cost, Shaw and Riley. Why do they care so much? We're learning about their backstories and their childhoods and their families, which is something I've never seen on the original Law and Orders. This is all in the writing. It's being updated to fit the television landscape today. I think people want to know more about the characters they're watching, and so we're doing that. I think that's how we're going to stay relevant.